Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So today we're in our F5E Tiger 2 and we're looking at bombing. Let's kick off by just looking at the control. We've only got one today and that is weapon release to drop the bomb or bombs. Right, so let's arm up and look at the different types of bombs we can use. So we bring up the armament screen first. Look, Let's look on the outermost pylon that we can put bombs on, which is 2 and 6. So we've got bombs. We've got BDU 33. 50, 50 LD, 50 LGB. Now, I believe anything with BDU is a training bomb. So these are all different types of training bomb. Uh, let me know if I'm wrong, but I think that's right. CBU 52B. These are cluster bombs. Um, now, we're not going to be using cluster bombs today, but just so you know, you do have to drop them from a relatively high height. They have a minimum release altitude. I'm not sure what that altitude is in feet, but I usually drop them from about 5,000 feet or above, giving them time to separate and do what they need to do to work. Uh, I'll probably cover that in another video. Next to GBU-12, laser-guided bomb. Again, we'll cover that in another video. M117, that's an old type of dumb bomb, I believe. Warhead size, I think about 200 kilos. Next, we've got a standard issue Mark 82 dumb bomb, uh, which is, I believe, a 500 pound bomb with about a 250 uh, pound warhead, as far as I'm aware. Uh, and then we've got the Mark 82 Snake Eyes, and Snake Eyes, same bomb except it has it's a high drag version. Uh, so when you when you drop it, it has fins that come out and slow down the descent. Then we've got the LUU2s, which are um, I'm pretty sure they're illumination bombs. You drop them from a high altitude, they float down on a parachute and they illuminate the battlefield below. Okay, so we go in a pylon, pylons three and five bombs, all the same training bombs. Same, 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 same. Only difference is, instead of the flare uh, illumination bombs, we've got Mark 83 stun bombs, uh, 1,000 pound weight, about 500 pound warhead, I believe. And finally, we go to four bombs, uh, same BDUs, GBU, everything is the same here. We've now got Mark 80, a single Mark 84 we can have on the belly. Uh, 2,000 pound bomb with about 1,000 pound warhead, I believe, dumb bomb again. Or, even more interesting, we've got five times Mark 82s that we can have, or five times Mark 82 snake eyes. So, in the middle, we're going to have five times Mark 82s. In here, we're going to have one times Mark 82 slick. And here, we're going to have some hydrags. Uh, so we've got we've got three different uh, methods of bombing we're going to show. I'm going to show what I like to call lateral high drag bombing. Um, it's not really suggested like this in the manual. It's my own little thing that I'd like to do. Uh, then we're going to show conventional bombing with slip, bomb, slip bombs on three and five. And then we're going to show ripple bombing uh, with a third run with pylon four. So let's arm that up. Request rearming. While we're waiting, we can look at the setup at this point. Um, so I like to drop the outer pylons first. So that would be pylons two and six i think that was uh, i believe you can drop just one side uh, on their own but you would make the plane pretty much impossible to fly if you did that so always go for two uh, we will have our master arm on like that we will have if we're going to do single bombing um i.e dropping one bomb from each station we're going to go to bomb if we're going to do ripple bombing which we'll do later we'll go to ripple rearming complete We've got our different bomb arm options here. Essentially, we can have safe, in which case they will just drop inert. Nose, uh, nose fuse, tail fuse, and nose and tail. I believe um, if you want a bit more penetration in the bomb, then you'd go to tail. So it would only fuse when the tail uh, struck. Uh, we've got an interval selector here. So when we're looking at ripple selecting, you're, I'm essentially going to hold my finger on the, on the weapon release. And the interval, I believe, is times 100 milliseconds uh, between uh, uh, that's the time it will be between the releases of each bomb so this would be i may get this wrong here but i think that's 0 0.06 seconds between each release 0 0.1 second between each release and 0 0.14 seconds between each release so we'll go just standard if i can get it uh why don't we go for 0 0.6 right now we've got our bombs armed we're going to fire the bird up and get to the runway Okay, so the only thing to point out at this point is that we are really heavy with his bombs and if there's one thing the Targa doesn't like, it's being heavy. So plenty of trim up and plenty of patience when rotating. It will take off eventually, so let's get airborne, go and find some targets. And we just about made it up, gear up. Right, let's go and find some bad guys. Right, got some bad guys sighted off the nose. A lovely big squishy convoy of Humvees. That's what we like. So let's talk about what we're going to do. Our first drop is going to be high drags. Now these can be dropped from a, like a dive bomb, which we'll show later. 
But uh, I've got a nice little trick I like to do. I like to do a vegan bombing with these. So I like to go in nice and low, a couple of hundred feet off the ground level, and drop uh, on a convoy. So that's what I find the best uses are for the snake eyes. Um, so I'm just going to double check. I've got my outer pylons up. I've got my nose fuse on. Interval doesn't matter. I've got my bomb selector on, master arms on. So let's go and give these a go. Because they're high drag, they will take a while to actually hit the ground. So hence, as long as I'm going pretty fast, and I will put the burner on now, I can go pretty low and not worry about damaging the bird. And let's release now. And lovely big thud right in the middle of that convoy. Or at the end of it. And I slightly missed. Oh, that was okay. Right, next we're going to use um, a traditional bombing dive bomb with the Mark 82 Slicks. Stand by. Let me get them set up. So we're going to go that pile on, that pile on, turn that off, turn that off, stick on bomb main selector. So first I like to climb to about 5,000 feet, then turn in towards the target. And we're going to maintain about 350 to 400 knots uh, during the run-in. Now for the high drag bombs, we didn't use the gun sight because we didn't need to. We will need the gun sight this time. So we are going to set to manual. And we're going to want a depression of 80, which will correspond with us with a dive, a dive angle of 20... Uh, sorry, I can't multitask. Uh, 10 with a dive angle of 10 to 20 degrees releasing at about one and a half thousand feet from the target We'll have to uh, guesstimate the one and a half thousand feet just get used to it after a while now Where are these targets? There they are um, Another thing is I forgot to say about the when the rocket tutorial that I did was that rather than going straight at the target um, Before you dive you want to come across the target so that you can look out your quarter canopy to the left or to the right so we're going to do that as soon as I get settled, a bit more altitude. So I can look out the left here and then turn in when I'm ready. Right, I'm slightly shy of 5,000 feet, but I think it'll do. I'm going to go to mill power now. Let's get that 20 degrees, trim out. Wait to 1,500 feet. See if we can get these mothers. And we're going to drop now. Godspeed little bombs, don't go too low, you don't want to get hit by your own bombs, really common mistake. What do we get? Bang on the target, look at that, thump. So that's pretty cool. Um, all we've got now to show off is the ripple bombing. So we're going to change to our centre pylon. Going to cancel these pylons, never forget to cancel these pylons. We're going to go to ripple here. Um, we've set up our fuse already, we've set up our interval. Uh, so what we're going to do is essentially uh, do another dive bomb, but this time uh, instead of just touching the uh, weapon release we're going to go keep our finger on the weapon release and all the way down that column and we should ripple out five bombs so let's see how that goes so work our way up to 5,000 feet to get some energy in the bank 300 knots that's pretty cool okay let's turn in and come off the throttle now because we're gonna have plenty of potential energy 15 degree dive no maybe that's more like 20 stabilize the speed sort the trim out and in we go. Let's see what we can do this time. Wait for one and a half thousand feet. And trigger. And let's see what that's done. Again, don't want to go too low. There's no need to go too low. Mud thumper. So we just nailed the... Uh, <laughs> I was hoping I was going to spit bombs right across that convoy like a vegan does. Um, I think I just... Oh, I don't really know. Put my interval. If I'd have had a bigger interval there, it would have spread them out more. But I don't think it's really for strip bombing like in a, like in a Vigan. I think it just puts uh, bombs very close down to each other. Or um, I could have used high drag bombs um, to five of them in the center pylon. And I could have done low level strip bombing that way. And that probably would have given me a better result. Uh, right, so that's that. I can't think of anything to say about the bombing. I'll go and do the GBU laser guided bombs next. I hope that helps. And I'll see you later.